Well, a San Diego high school senior is about to become his family's first generation college student, accepted with financial aid from UCLA. This young man was homeless for more than a decade up until last year. And this morning, he is here along with two partners who helped him find his way. Uh, Michael Galden is here. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to this, about this. And congratulations Thanks. on going to college. And then we have uh, Ray Ellis from San Diego Social Venture Partners. And then we also have Chris Yanov, the founder of Reality Changers. Great to be here. So first of all, we have to sort of tie this in a bow. And how are all of the three of you connected? Well, San Diego Social Venture Partners works with nonprofits and uh, over a three-year period and we've just entered into a relationship with reality changers that we're very excited about and look forward to working with them all right okay so we'll get to your, you more in a moment and uh, kind of find out about what that's doing because your start was very interesting as well and Michael incredible story you, you sent us just a little piece of a story about kind of all the struggles that you've been through you were homeless for more than 10 years and yet you still went to school how, tell us your story how did you get to this point well um We've been off and homeless for 10 years. Um, my mom was sick, she almost died twice. My sister was sick, she, she almost died. Um, so it's been really difficult for us. Um, we traveled from state to state, and, uh, from shelter to shelter, living at rest stops. And we've lived in our car, and I've, I've slept outside before. It, it, it's been hard for us, so it's just looking up this year, though. Yeah. Now, so up until, this was up until last year, but yet you managed to go to school, and what was kind of the motivation? I mean, it. it with, so, you know, fighting against so many obstacles, what was your motivation to keep your GPA up and try to try to do your best? So I can overcome. I mean, if I didn't get an education, I never could move my family out of our living situation. And if I had, in my future children, I can get them never to be in my situation. The motivation was to keep going so I could um, overcome my circumstances. And so now you're going to UCLA? Um, yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing that you, that you did this. And, and since you were in this car, you were doing your homework there. Is that how that worked out? I mean, were you just kind of... Uh... Yeah, um, I do my homework in my car or outside or wherever I can. I mean, sometimes I couldn't see but the work I was doing because it would be dark at night. Um, but I couldn't stop. I had to, no matter what this reason was, I had to keep going. I couldn't stop because I had to get my education. That's amazing. Now, um, Chris, you've been working with Michael. Tell me a bit kind of a, how you came to start, because you started your company, uh, Reality Changers, in 2001. That's right. I worked with gang members from 1996 to 2001, and then started Reality Changers in 2001 with four eighth graders and just $300, hoping to, instead of try to prevent gang members from joining gangs, and becoming a uh, part of the society's downward spiral instead have them shoot for something and promote positive productive behaviors by having them become first generation college students and now 10 school years later these students have earned over five million dollars in scholarships from all sources it must make you feel proud it, it really does but you know what there's still 150 students that are on our wait list right now uh, that are wanting to get off the streets and into our program yet we don't have the resources yet to do it and so that's why we've uh, been able to partner with san diego social venture partners so we can create a business plan to reach more students that really want to change their reality and and get off the streets and into college all right and, and ray you go around and you you look for nonprofits to help is that uh What's your mission? Correct. We, we um, go out and pick a sector each year. This year is education. This year we took uh, over 60 grant applications and they go through a process where our members or partners uh, look at the nonprofit to make sure it's a good fit between what their aspirations are and what their goals are and what we can bring to the table. And we not only invest financially in the organization, but also put the human capital in there of folks that, <clears throat> excuse me, that have a great deal of business experience and nonprofit experience to help them go to the next level. Our objective is to help Chris and his team produce more Michaels and uh, bring that uh, to their organization. And you know, for prospective members, gangs don't have waiting lists. Living on the streets doesn't have a wait list. Uh, why should reality changers have a wait list? So hopefully with our partnership, we'll be able to overcome those obstacles. Okay. And, and Michael, with a last word, um, how, how do you plan to make changes in your future, you know, to, as you kind of give back to the community after everything that you've been through now that you're going to college? And what would you say to somebody out there who's struggling, who just wants to give up? They just feel it's too hard to overcome these obstacles because you've been through many. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tell them don't give up because if you give up, nothing will change. You know, I, I was lucky to be the last one took off the waiting list for reality changers, but don't give up. 
strive, keep going. I, I know people say all the time, but I could be, I could tell you from personal experience, if you give up, things will only get worse. At times it's unbearable, but keep going. And are you planning on becoming an advocate maybe in the future? Yes, ma'am. I plan on um, being an advocate for homeless, um, homeless individuals or homeless families because I know how to beat homelessness. I help my family beat homelessness. And um, I know it works. And I will, I'm going out there and I will make sure that homelessness is eradicated from our society. So. All right. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Best of luck to you. And thank you so much for coming on this morning and talking about this. It's very inspiring. Thank you for having All right. Us. For more information on this segment and uh, about these organizations, go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics.